D2O is also used in a small number of nuclear reactors. There is a particular type of nuclear reactor developed in Canada called the Kandu reactor. And Canada is now, I believe, the world's major producer of heavy water. And the advantage of this heavy water reactor is that you do not need to enrich the uranium as much as you do for other reactors. So you have to put energy in to make the D2O, but you don't have to do the careful separation of the isotopes of uranium, which we also mentioned in one of our other videos. And so in, in some ways, it's much simpler to make these sorts of reactors. So there's a trade-off, whether you use D2O or H2O. Good, good. There's one other point I yeah, should just ahead. make. Go ahead. The, because D2O molecules are heavier than H2O, the boiling point of D2O is significantly higher. Not a huge amount, I think about one and a half degrees higher. So in principle, you could separate H2O from D2O by distillation but it would take an enormous amount of energy and electrolysis is very much better.